are veterans in the industry and you've made great choices along the way, how is it that you seem to be able to stay and how did you make great choices throughout this? You, not, you guys aren't in the media for negative things, only positive. <laughs> um, I think probably because we we probably choose to let our private life be private and um, you know as coming up man you, you leave room for mistakes and do some things to get you popped in the back of the head but you know we, we don't really want to do the things that we know we shouldn't do and we've probably done some things we know we wish we wish we didn't do but at the end of the day you know we um, we just tried to keep the image that was given to us you know, we was young kids trying to be the Temptations, wearing nice suits and give a good show for your money. And, you know, that's just where we are now that we're, you know, we're husbands, we're parents, and, you know, we're, we're children of our mother and our father. And we just try to represent what they instilled in us to, you know, keep your head up and stay clean and do the best you can. Last question. We're here at Women's Empowerment, and there are a lot of young men that need to know that women should be reverenced and they should be treated with respect. What would you say to young men today if they could talk directly to you on how they should be treating women? You sit down with your grandmother first. Start at the top of the, of the family that you can get the closest to. And, and listen to what she has to say from a woman's point of view. And then try to get to the male that's in your bloodline that's probably married and made some of the best decisions so you can get some great advice from that person. Rather be your brother, your uncle, or like Ricky, he has like 11 brothers and sisters, so <laughs> exactly. who, did you I mean, who did you talk to? Well, I mean, you know, if you grow up and you have sisters, you know, you have a mother, aunt, whatever, it's like, however you want them to be, to be respected and treated, you know, that's how you should treat, you know, other ladies, um, especially if you have a daughter, you know, the way that you speak to her, the way that you would want her to be spoken to, you know, by another man is, you know, a great reference of how you treat her and how you should treat other women. Well, thank you very much. And all we heard throughout here today as I walked around the crowd is all of the women talking about how they respect you guys and how they appreciate what you've done over your career. Yeah, and, if, and to be honest with you, man, even in some of our songs, we you know, we went there a little bit with the butt and the, the smack it and all that. And, and even tonight, man, we took that out the show. We just didn't feel like it was appropriate for the audience, man. And those adjustments there uh, keep you in the right way of thinking and making adjustments because every room you're supposed to treat it different. And that's something a young man should learn because every woman doesn't want to be treated the same way. Every woman feels different. There you have it, Belle Bib DeVoe. Thank you. Thank you, guys. There you go.